Yilmaz Güney gelingt im Oktober 1981 die Flucht aus dem Gefängnis. Der berühmteste Schauspieler und Regisseur der Türkei verbüßt dort eine 18-jährige Zuchthausstrafe. Im Gefängnis schreibt er das Drehbuch zu seinem immer noch aktuellen Film Joll. Die Schweizer Produktion Joll gewinnt als erster türkischer Film eine goldene Palme und war in mehr als 50 Ländern zu sehen. BFK Films präsentiert die vollständige Version von Yilmaz Güneys Joll. Die Leute in diesem Film sind zwar Türken und Kurden, aber man findet sie überall, wo gegen Unterdrückung gekämpft wird. Sie sind alle Gefangene. Manche sind hinter Gittern, viele sind Gefangene ihrer Moral. Aber alle sind Gefangene des Staates. Ein überwältigender Film über Ehre und Leidenschaft, Mut und Schmerz, Zärtlichkeit und Grausamkeit. Terror. Wut, Stärke, Liebe und Leben. 1982 gewinnt die unfertige Fassung von Joll beim Filmfestival von Cannes die höchste Auszeichnung, die Goldene Palme. Ilmas Günes wichtigster Film ist jetzt komplett und restauriert zu sehen als Joll, the full version. So he was uh, in prison because he was condemned for murder. It was never proved that he was really the murderer. Uh, but he was in prison, so he couldn't do it. So uh, that was the third film. He uh, wrote the script in prison. And the third time that uh, another director had to direct it. The first two ones, it was Suru, The Herd, and then Dushman, The Enemy, was directed by Zeki Ökten. And we wanted to have him also for Yol. But then he was busy. He was in another project. He couldn't. So we had to uh, take another one. İşte Suriye sınırı. On adım ötende ama gidemiyorsun. Çünkü anlatamıyorsun. Anlatamıyorsun halini kimseye. Kimse anlamak istemiyor seni. Git cezanı um, So that was the reason and uh, that we have to do we had to do uh, it with Sheriff Gören who was also coming out of prison who went to prison to meet Yilmaz Güney. And he was interacted for one day, or half a day, to direct Yol. In negotiations with Cannes Film Festival, with Jill Jacko, but in 1982, at the beginning of 1982, um, he didn't want it to film. So we made some pressure uh, through different people who helped us uh, to convince him to take the film. And finally, um, we had a version of 2 hours and 15 minutes. And at the last moment, about six weeks before the festival, he told us he needed to have a version which is under 110 minutes. So we had to take, take out something like 25 minutes. At the, at the end, we took out 27 minutes. So we had to cut out a whole story because the, the film had six prisoners going into a leave for a, a short, certain period. And um, we had to cut out one. Uh, so we cut out the negative character, <laughs> which was a mistake. Um, and then we had to cut some secretary characters. The, they were cut down, half their stories were cut down, like the young guy in there and so on and so on. So at the end we, we came to 108 minutes and uh, the film was shown. And like it was done in the last moment, it was uh, uh, not, not really, it, the, the editing was not really like it should have been. So it was an editing which was um, oh, not very good at the end because it was made in a hurry. Bazı şeyler vardır, anlatılması güçtür. Hem anlatması güçtür, hem de anlaması... Ne demek yani? Sen anlatacaksın da biz mi anlamayacağız? Onu demek istemiyorum. Ne demek istiyorsun peki? Tuvalette basıldınız işte. Var mı ötesi? Rezillik değil mi bu? Sana göre rezillik. After 35 years, we have to respect what we discussed at that time. Uh, it was about six years ago I started to do the researches and so on and so on. And I found uh, the editing plan of 1982 from the chief editor. She gave me that edi editing plan. And she said, this is what Cunet in fact wanted. So, 
Uh, we took this and we uh, I, then I digitized about 12,000 meters of negative material and so on, non-use material, uh, excerpts and so on. And then we started to reconstruct the film according to Ilmaz Gunez's editing plan. The film is still um, very actual. It means it's it's not all. It looks a little bit old, but it, the situation in Turkey and in our souls and with our problems of our imprisonment, uh, with our traditions and our uh, moral, uh, this is still the same questions. Uh, didn't change. So the film is something which is not old fashioned. Ne helal et hiç tadı almadım.